on the sea Somewhere waiting for me My lover stands on golden sands And watches the ships that go sailing Somewhere This question doesn't apply to you because I know your answer. Who doesn't love pizza? <laughs> Especially on a wet and rainy night. I'm Larry Himmel. How do you get a great Chicago pizza to San Diego? Will you go through Berkeley? I'll explain coming up right here on News 8. And this winter weather expected to continue through the weekend. What to expect then and beyond is coming up with your seven-day microclimate forecast next. Well, it's Friday night, so how does a deep dish pizza with a flaky crust filled with fresh herbs and locally grown tomatoes sound right about now? Well, Larry Himmel's found one that's easy to like, but it's not always easy to get. For Danny and Angela Palacios and their pals, here's the blueprint for the perfect pizza. On the bottom, it is the, the crust, and then we put the, the cheese and the, some of the toppings. Then there's a second like paper-thin layer of dough to kind of give it a chicken pot pie effect to steam the vegetables, and then the chunky tomatoes go on top. It's a formula that's garnered Berkeley Pizza rave reviews, even though they don't have a restaurant. We did it more like virtual, uh, working out of a commercial kitchen at first, just to show you know uh, that the concept would work and it would really resonate with people. And uh, the response has been really overwhelming. Their delivery area is small. Our focus is downtown, Little Italy, East Village, uh, Golden Hill, Bankers Hill. The way most people have discovered Berkeley Pizza is at one of San Diego's best farmers markets. Every Saturday we're at the Little Italy uh, Mercado. Um, it's like from 9 to 1.30. There, Danny sells whole pre-cooked pies ready to heat and eat. Our signature pizza is the spinach mushroom. It's a very classic combination. If you dig deeper into the dough, you'll find out what made Berkeley grow. To get a more flaky dough, we just uh, don't use sugar. I think a lot of pizza companies, they use the, uh, de the dehydrated herbs. And what happens is if you use the fresh herbs, it really brings out the sweetness of the tomatoes. It's a little bit more work uh, but, and a little bit more effort, but I think people really appreciate the difference. It's a big difference with the average large Berkeley pizza weighing in at around six pounds. And speaking of big, Danny and Angela are expanding. Uh, we're opening a, a location in the gas lamp for the summer, so things are going really well. Not bad for a business with no counter, no kitchen, and no location and limited distribution. But build a better pizza, and San Diego will somehow find a path to your door. Larry Himmel, News 8. This is like a work of art. Yeah, and it's, it's so funny because it weighs like the weight of four pizzas. It is just so thick and dense. And the other funny thing is you, ha great. you haven't let go of it yet. I You've haven't let go of it. Here, I'll, I'll show you. Take, take your piece. Half you an hour. You added you're the one with the plate and the you know, knife and fork. Oh, you're leaving it for me? I got to try like it out. If you like more information on Berkeley Pizza, you can log oh on to our website. Oh my gosh, look at that thing. I got to taste it. CBS8.com. Oh you have to, yeah. It's about an inch. Click on the hot button. Mm. Don't let this destroy your appetite. <laughs> oh, Lord man. knows we don't. We're used to it. I'm covering my mouth. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. Now, your microclimate forecast presented by Toyota Carlsbad. Here's meteorologist Matt Bailo. Carlos in love. It's got layers. Yeah. Well, there's food on the table. I know. It's really all it takes, but this does happen to be pretty darn good looking food. Wow. Well, especially on a night like tonight. Vegetarian, yeah. too. I Warm like that. Warm comfort food. Mm, it's nice. Yummy. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. Very much so. I will have a couple of nights to be very good for pizza just like that, just in case you can't finish the whole thing in the next two and a half minutes. Uh, <laughs> it's possible. It's possible. Uh, we do have a lot of rain still on the way. In fact, some very heavy rain once again moving into the South County. I'll show you that in just a few seconds. At the moment, though, we've got some uh, partly, uh, well, still partly rainy skies, I guess you could call it. 59, the temperature at the top of the hour. Wind out of the south at 14, that relative humidity at 67%. The latest Doppler radar right now showing that most of the more moderate and steady rainfall that had been making its way throughout much of the county has drifted on towards the northeast. It's heading up into the mount. Low 50s tomorrow and coming up on Sunday as well, but the big news, that'll be the rain overnight tonight. That's going to continue into tomorrow morning. That wind advisory also in effect through tomorrow as we'll have some strong winds revving up here in just a few hours. You can always get the latest seven-day microclimate forecast 
as well as, well, my weather update I write every morning and my latest weather updates on Twitter.com. I've been doing lots of those today just by clicking on our website there at CBS8.com slash weather. Once again, you'll want to take it easy out there on the roadways. I know traffic is really slow. You're both chewing your foot. You both look happy. You, you've got to have a piece of Oh, this. my goodness. I'm just no. telling you. I don't uh, think I've ever had pizza like this You'll want to be really kind of careful on the roads tonight. And again, the heaviest rain's yet to come. Okay. So, I mean, there's a lot more on the way. Really, you got to have a piece. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just telling you. I've never had pizza like this. I'm afraid I wouldn't be able to stop at one. That's the big wow. problem. It is. Wow. Unbelievable. On its second. I'm, I'm like Mikey. I like everything. I, I know. Do, but you, you're going at this, this one. This is spectacular. <laughs> the Aztecs basketball team heads out to face uh, Air Force, but will their attention be elsewhere like mine is? Kyle will explain. Plus, Tony Gwynn makes a surprising return for opening day. Kyle will have college baseball highlights next. It's getting close to dinner time, so <laughs> I'm hungry. How does a deep dish pizza with a flaky crust filled with fresh herbs and locally grown tomatoes sound right about now? I'll mm. take it. Larry Himmel uh, had a bite, found one that's uh, easy to like, but not always easy to get. For Danny and Angela Palacios and their pals, here's the blueprint for the perfect pizza. On the bottom, it is the, the crust, and then we put the, the cheese and the, some of the toppings. Then there's a second like paper thin layer of dough to kind of give it a chicken pot pie effect to steam the vegetables, and then the chunky tomatoes go on top. It's a formula that's garnered Berkeley Pizza rave reviews, even though they don't have a restaurant. We did it more like virtual, uh, working out of a commercial kitchen at first, just to show you know uh, that the concept would work and it would really resonate with people. And uh, the response has been really overwhelming. Their delivery area is small. Our focus is downtown, Little Italy, East Village, uh, Golden Hill, Bankers Hill. The way most people have discovered Berkeley Pizza is at one of San Diego's best farmers markets. Every Saturday we're at the Little Italy uh, Mercado. Um, it's like from 9 to 1.30. There, Danny sells whole pre-cooked pies ready to heat and eat. Our signature pizza is the spinach mushroom. It's a very classic combination. If you dig deeper into the dough, you'll find out what made Berkeley grow. To get a more flaky dough, we just uh, don't use sugar. I think a lot of pizza companies, they use the, uh, de the dehydrated herbs. And what happens is if you use the fresh herbs, it really brings out the sweetness of the tomatoes. It's a little bit more work uh, but, and a little bit more effort, but I think people really appreciate the difference. It's a big difference with the average large Berkeley pizza weighing in at around six pounds. And speaking of big, Danny and Angela are expanding. Uh, we're opening a, a location in the gas lamp this summer, so things are going really well. Not bad for a business with no counter, no kitchen, and no location, and limited distribution. But build a better pizza, and San Diego will somehow find a path to your door. Larry Himmel, News 8. Oh, the pizza looks great. I'd, I'd run, walk. Poco stick, whatever it took. For more information on Berkeley Pizza, by the way, just log on to our website at cbs8.com and click on the hot button. Now, your microclimate forecast presented by Toyota Carlsbad. Here's meteorologist Sean Stiles. That's great, Craig, because then by the time you got there, you would have burned <laughs> off enough calories to, to eat the whole thing. Did you eat a six pound pizza? <laughs> wow, that'd be a great challenge. Who, who stacked that show to put that right I here? Know. I'm just How dying. My stomach <laughs> is growling. I just told I our, our uh, teleprompter, Ryan, that I was starving. Yeah. I did too. <laughs> I'm hungry. Good wow. thing we don't have smell of vision Good thing. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll tell you what, though, if you step outside, it won't take you long to realize that things are going to be chilly tonight, and there's a pretty good chance that you'll get wet at any point in time. So if you're heading out the doorway this evening, be sure to take an umbrella or some sort of uh, waterproof device because the showers and heavy rain could come down at any time. Let's take you outside and uh, put our time lapse into motion for you here as we take a look at things here. Clouds rolling on through and watch how this thing develops and moves on through. You know, lots of instability in the atmosphere. The rain and when the rain comes through and you get a little light starting to move through that rain, what do you get? You get that, a rainbow. We tried to catch it live at the top of the show, but we promised that we would show it to you, and there it is, sure enough, the rainbow. And it was a beautiful one. It was incredibly intense. 